Hi guys, how's everyone doing? So today we are going to make some flowers out of pine cones. They're really pretty when they're in the dish, uh, maybe on the side table, coffee table. They, I won't say they look real, but they look really, really kind of cool. And people will come over and be like, oh, flowers, wait a minute, what are those? So <clears throat> today we're going to make flowers. Now, the thing with the pine cones is that um, I live in Hampton Roads, and probably a lot of you all do too, um, here in Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Norfolk, wherever. And the pine cones that we have here are a little different than the pine cones that fall off the pine trees up north. They're just different kinds of pine trees. So our pine, tr our pine cones are like kind of big, and that's way too big for a flower. And up north, um, I grew up in Maine, I know we, they have smaller, they're a lot more short, they're shorter and rounder. And they are like perfect for this but these aren't really perfect so we have to make them perfect and in order to do that we have to take off like this much of the pine cone so all we have is the top so they look more like this um, and these pine cones that we have have all these little thorns on them which are very picky on your hands so you're gonna need to use a towel so you don't poke your fingers with all these little thorns on our pine cones. Um, you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers and a serrated knife possibly. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to take our pine cones and we want to make them short. On all methods, we're going to take the bottom petals off from the pine cone. I hold it in a towel because they're really picky um, and they can hurt. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to Take the petals off and you want to make sure when you take them off, take them all the way to that center piece right here. You want to take them off all the way into there. See how the bottom is? But we want to, once we take off too many petals, that, that bottom center piece gets like a stub. So we've got to get the stub off eventually once we get to that point. Keep an eye on your pine cone so you don't take too many petals off. And if you're lucky and you live up north and you have the little short ones that are already real, real tiny, short, and fat, you don't have to go through this step. But us southerners have to because our pine cones are different. So I've got off the petals that I want. Now I want to take off this middle, the center piece. I'm going to show you three different ways that this can be done. There's one super easy way, uh, but you need like a bandsaw. Um, there's a nature's easy way because the pine cone is cooperative. And then there's the extra manual way because it's being stubborn and we have to make it cooperate with us. Okay, so now if you have a bandsaw, you're just going to run the bandsaw right along where you stopped right here. Just going to run a saw right across there make it nice and smooth and easy and quick if you don't have the bandsaw then let's go up to the second version so if you don't have the bandsaw we're going to put the pine cone that we just got we're going to put it in the towel and hold it so that we don't, our fingers don't get pricked we're going to take our needle nose pliers and we're going to put it right there where we want it to break off we're going to hold the pine cone um, right here where we stopped pulling them off and they start back up going to put your hand right over that area. You're going to take your needle nose and you're going to kind of twist very gently. And we're going to try to twist it off. This one's twisting off, but we have to be careful because it's breaking in half and not twisting in one piece. So we're going to take the pieces little by little. Like that. We'll take our pine cone out of the towel. And we're just going to try to make this a little bit more flat. If it looks like you're going to tear the whole pine cone up, I would just go ahead and leave it. Now, that's what you want. So this one we're going to put in the towel. I've got all the petals off. And we're going to try to break it right where that, get that stub off. This one is not being as cooperative as others. 
So that's why sometimes you can use a knife that has a serrated edge on it. And you kind of use it as a saw to kind of make a groove in there. And then sometimes it pulls off a little easier. So I'm just going to saw. Try to make like a groove all the way around. And then take the needle nose and try it again. And try to salvage the pine cone. We did pretty good. We just have this one piece. Hopefully we can just break right off and there we go. Now you have, I have some made. You can see they're like different sizes. So this one's a little bit bigger. Um, and then I've got some that are a little bit larger. What you don't want is you don't want this whole big old pine cone because it doesn't look like a flower. But we okay. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my pine cones. You guys get your pine cones all cleaned up and um, shortened. And then we'll start painting. If your workspace looks anything like my workspace, it's a mess from all these pine cone petals. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up my workspace so we can when we start painting, it's nice and clean. All right. So let's all just get all these um, picky petals picked up. Can, how many times can you say that fast? Picky petals picked up. Picky petals picked up. I'll do it 10 times. <laughs> all right. I'll see you back in just a minute. All right. So I have all my pine cones all broken down and all into the size that I want. And now we're going to choose paint. I think I'm going to do pinks and yellows today. Um, you can do whatever colors you want. I want them to look sort of as realistic as possible. So I'm not going to pick the fun colors that I really like, like some teal and purples. And because it's not, those aren't really always larger colored flowers. They can be. But I'm going to do yellows and pinks. I think that'll be super pretty and they'll look a little realistic as possible since they're pine cups, right? All right, so pick your colors, um, get your colors put on a plate. And let's get started. So I'm starting with my pinks. So I've got um, two different color pinks and a white. And I'm going to take um, one of my brushes that is a little bit flat, not too white. And I'm going to start on the bottom and I'm going to paint the very bottom part. Remember, you can use whatever colors you want. So I'm going to paint the bottom like this. I'm going to make, sure, make sure that you're getting all the little crevices so you've got all the pine cone come painted. Oops. You can kind of see, you can still see the pine cone. So you want to make sure you put it on thick enough so that you don't see the pine cone anymore. Um, so there's my bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and you're going to paint inside the leaves. So you really don't want to have any pine cones showing. So I'm just painting inside all the leaves and underneath the bottom part of them. I'm using a darker color to start because I can always lighten it up with white and a lighter pink so that it has a little bit of contrast and isn't all one solid color. You see how I'm making sure everything's covered. And if you do it row by row, you shouldn't miss any. Mine so far. How many of you all um, joined us when um, for making sun catchers? If you haven't, we made some sun catchers. We've made some pot uh, flower pot friends. We've done tissue paper art, made pen and pencil holders. Oh, we did some tie-dye. That was super fun. Made a birdhouse. So we've done lots of little projects. So if you haven't done them all, check out our website and see which ones maybe you have supplies for at home and get to crafting. Website is www dot i d i l o f t dot com so it's i d i loft dot com
Always check out our, all of our projects on there and make ones that you haven't made yet. Okay, so I'm coming right along with my colors. So now, okay. so now we're gonna paint all of our pine cones. You can paint them whatever colors you want, of course. Um, once I get this one all painted, I'm going to kind of show you some ways that I'm going to do it so it looks like, so it has a few different shades of pink, so it's not all one color, to help make it look a tiny bit more realistic. When you think you're all done, just go around and inspect all of your petals, top and bottom. Make sure you've got everything covered. So there's mine. A little dimension so I'm gonna put a little bit different color pinks in here randomly um, kind of do it on the tips See, I'm just kind of doing it on the very tips so it's a little bit different lighter color but it still blends in very nicely I'm gonna do that all the way around add some white on there as well So that's that so far. So you can see I've got a little bit different color pinks. See, it kind of looks like a mom. And then I'm going to do some white. And a lot of times flowers are a little bit lighter in the middle, so I'm going to put some white in the top part of it in the middle. And on the bottom, you can, I don't know if you can see it very well, I'm just taking some white and I'm going up over my pink with white so I get my skill still keep my white i mean i'm sorry still keep my pink color but it's putting a little bit of white texture into it it looks like a pretty cool flower doesn't it yours looking pretty cool all right i'm going to set this aside and i'm going to start another one with baby jars because i have a little grandson so i am going to set mine right there on top of that so that it can dry while I paint my next one. So I just thought of something. Another cool way um, that you can dry, because you know I put mine on top of the baby food jars, um, another way to dry them is um, with egg cartons. So if you have an um, egg carton sitting around that doesn't have any eggs in it, um, check the recycle bin or something, uh, you can use that as your drying rack and set your pine cones right in there and they'll sit really nice and um, get all dried. Sometimes you have thoughts afterwards. Should have thought of that before, right? I have my pink flowers done, so now I'm gonna start on my next color. So for a lot of you, I know it's spring break this week. Spring break does probably doesn't seem as fun and exciting this year because you've been on a little bit of a break from not being in school, even though you still have to get your homework done. But at least there's no homework this week. You gotta always try to find something, the silver lining, the bright side of it. So this week's bright side is no homework. Okay, I'm almost done with this one with all the white and then I'm just gonna tip it with some yellow. So I made sure to get all inside there. Still a little, couple, little bit of dark in there, but it'll be all right once we get this yellow on. pretty. I'm just bringing some of it up from the bottom, along the bottom. And if you get a little too much, just put a little more white over it. <clears throat> there. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to try a yellow one and then do a lot of white on it and see how that looks. I'm just curious if it will be too much. They're just pine cones, so I can just make another different one if I need to, right? We know there's plenty of pine cones out there. Okay, so I've got it all yellow. Now I'm going to just, I'm going to put white, but I'm going to do a lot of white. So, um... No more than just tipping it. I'm going to do a lot of it so that it's more, I don't know, just not quite so yellow. 
my white that I have over here is what I used with my pink. So it's got a little bit of pink little pieces in it. But it actually looks kind of pretty with this yellow. So kind of like a hybrid flower. It looks kind of cool. What do you think? Let that one try. All right, so now our pine cones are all, well, they're not really pine cones. Our flowers are all dry. Are yours dry? Take a look at what mine look like. Here are mine. So now all we have left is to put them in a bowl or a basket or something pretty to hold them. What better? How many of y'all made the magazine bowl with us? Perfect. So now we can just put them right inside the magazine bowl. All the beautiful colors from the bowl with the flowers are going to look gorgeous. So we're just going to arrange them in here. Just kind of put them in. I'm going to put the, the larger ones in first and then the smaller ones around. And I'm going to kind of try to alternate the colors so I don't have all of one kind. And I'm going to put some right in the very bottom, one of the bigger ones right in the very bottom, so that the bottom of the bowl doesn't really show. You're going to see, all you're going to see are the beautiful flowers. And what you want to try to do is try to hide the very bottom piece, put that inside the bowl or wherever you're using to hold it, put that right inside there so that we don't see it. And all we see is the beautiful, pretty flowers. And there we have it. How does your how do your cone flowers look? Fantastic job, everybody. I love them. Make sure you send me a picture. Alright, so here in Hampton Roads, you guys are on spring break this week. So maybe for a lot of you that means no homework. Unless you have some to catch up on that you haven't finished. Alright. But make sure you still grab a book and go read every now and then. It's a very good thing to do when you get bored. Um, and it, whether you realize it or not, it will help you when you get older. They always told me that and I never believed them, but now I do. Alright, so make sure you get some fresh air. It's a beautiful day out there today, so go get some sunshine. And until next time, bye-bye.